the Lord said to Samuel, how long are you going to grieve over Saul? I have rejected him as the king. I want you to take your horn and fill it with oil and go to Bethlehem to the home of Jesse, for I have chosen a king from among his sons. Samuel said, Lord, if I am to do this and Saul learns of it, he'll kill me. But the Lord said, take a young heifer with you. And when you arrive in Bethlehem, tell them that you have come to offer sacrifice to the Lord. Sanctify Jesse and all of his sons and invite them to the banquet. And Samuel did exactly as the Lord instructed him. As he came into Bethlehem, the elders met him. They were concerned and they said, have you come in peace? And Samuel said, yes, I am here to offer sacrifice to the Lord. Sanctify yourselves and join me. And then Samuel sanctified Jesse and all of his sons. Now the first of the sons that Samuel met was Eliab. And Samuel thought, surely this is the one the Lord has chosen. But the Lord said, no, I've rejected him. Don't be impressed by his stature or his appearance. You humans look at people differently than God does. You look at their outward appearance. God looks at their hearts. Next came Abinadab and the Lord said, no, I have rejected him. One by one, Jesse's sons came in front of Samuel and one by one, the Lord rejected them. Samuel finally asked Jesse, do you have any other sons? And he said, well, yes, my youngest son, David, but he's a shepherd out with the flocks. And Samuel said, I must see him. We cannot eat until I meet this son. And so they went to get David. And when he came into the home, Samuel saw that he was young. He was ruddy of complexion. He had beautiful eyes and he was handsome. And the Lord said, arise, this is the one I have chosen. And Samuel got up and there in front of all of David's brothers, he anointed David and the Spirit of God came strongly upon him. After that, Samuel left. At the same time, the Spirit of God left Saul, and he was tormented by evil spirits. His servants came to him and said, Lord, you are so tormented. Give us the command to go out and find someone who is skillful with the lyre, and then when these evil spirits come at you, he can play the lyre and calm you. And so Saul said, go, find me someone who can play the lyre. One of the servants said, I have heard that Jesse has a son who is quite skilled. He is a warrior and a man of valor. He is prudent of speech and has great presence and the Lord is with him. And so Saul sent a message to Jesse, send your son David to be my servant. Jesse prepared a donkey with a vat of wine and some bread and a young goat. And he sent that along with David. And whenever the evil spirits would torment Saul, David would play his lyre. And Saul came to love David greatly.